Phil. Welcome there. Thank you very much. Two Blues Television, I think we might call this. <laughs> <laughs> We're two really old fellas. <laughs> two, well, it's grey, two yeah. grey blue. We can, and, we can get away with that, can't we? We can get away with anything, mate. Yeah. Now, let's just think about where we are right now with the women's cricket. About 12 months ago, you did the first come and try. Yeah. Yeah, that <laughs> really was. It was um, a hit and hope. We, uh, we uh, asked a few of the senior players at training if they knew anybody. Of course, um, the Meany boys dobbed Susan in. So then we got to use her for a few promotional videos. Um, we got uh, B turned up. We had Jacqueline turned up. Gee, I don't want to miss anybody. Um, Florianne turned up, but she fell pregnant, so we couldn't, uh, she couldn't play this, this season. Who else did we have? I hope I've missed anybody, but well, I can remember you told yeah. me you had six, yeah, and you're worried that you were ever going to get beyond six. <laughs> but something changed that. Where did it jump from six to enough to have two teams? Right. Well, we uh, we were hunting for ideas, so we decided to put a sign out the front in Queens Park Road, and lo and behold, Helen Watts walked past and and gave me a call and said, "Are you interested in?" in um, having me play cricket. I said, absolutely. Then um, with the bat donation article in The Independent, um, we used Anna for the... Oh, that was right, Anna was one Anna of the Ferguson, ones. Anna Ferguson, yeah. Yeah, that's right. How could I forget her turning up? <laughs> um, yeah, and then we got a, Michelle and Kate joined us from seeing that um, bat donation article. And then... Um, we decided to ask Leah whether she'd like to... That's Leah Irving. Leah Irving, become involved. And she said, yeah, I'll be your cheerleader on the sidelines. And then we started pre-season training and she turned up and decided to have a play herself. And brought a lot of people with her. Oh, yeah, she's the Pied Piper. <laughs> she really is. I think um, half of St Joey's school, uh, <laughs> school teachers are at, are at Newtown now. So, no, she's been amazing, incredible. So in the end, enough for two teams. One captain by Susan Meany yeah. and the other one by Leah Irving. So both those players or both those people have been very, very important to the process. Oh, Susan's an amazing leader. Like I've actually learned quite a bit off her how to deal with difficult situations and, and, um, and the, the workload and the demands on these women, not only to become players, but to look after their households. They're used to looking after their husbands, families, kids, whatever, and now they've tried to free up a little bit of time for themselves, and that's been a big thing. And Susan's helped me deal with that. Leah, well, she's just brought in so many players, and her enthusiasm is just infectious. It's amazing. One of the things she said right at the start was, it was the, thing, the fact that she was asked. The first time in her lifetime she'd actually been asked, and she couldn't help but say yes, and was so thrilled to be asked. And then she found that empowering, and she said that it would be empowering for other women as well. I remember the phone call. I rang her up and I said, would you like to be captain of the Cambridge team? And, and she started crying. I remember oh, no. the tears on the phone. Fabulous. She started crying and um, it meant a lot to her. She didn't think she could do it. And I said, well, we'll try and give you as much support as we can and, and help you along the way. And, and look, so the, I don't get to a lot of Cambridge games, but the ones I've seen, she's done an amazing job. And you've had plenty of other helpers as well, uh, Ian Hasty and some of the other people who are there every Sunday helping you out. Just give us a run about down on who they are. Well, definitely. Ian, Ian come on board because as we started to get more and more players, I was advised that I needed an administrative help. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not my strength. I'm more into the coaching bit. So Ian, through a conversation, said that he was interested in doing something back at the club. So I rang him and he said, sure, I'll give that a go. And I hope he doesn't regret it because it's got quite big really quick. But he's done a great job. Um, Mule, as we know, Mule, he was uh, the one who made up all the signage for us. He's been incredible. We talk three, four nights a week about what we can do, how we can do it better. Um, times when I thought it wasn't going to get off the ground and he kept saying, no, let's stick out, let's give it another week. We can do this. And anything I need doing, any time, can I have you down at the ground to help me set things up? He will just be there. He's amazing. 
And then along come another merry band of guys. You know, it just, it just snowballed. The, the meanie boys to, to train, train with us all the time, to score, um, Jack to Hastie. umpire. Yep. Jack Hasty, another one who is always at training and scoring for us, helping us pack up. He's amazing. Nelson and Young Winty with the, the second 11? Well, they, they, they just come, like, Nelson is um, Beck's partner and Charlie's Steph's partner, and, and they helped amazingly with the Cambridge team because we, we didn't really appoint a manager for Cambridge. So those guys, and Tom now, has, um, has certainly helped steer that team, and it's been a big help for me and for Leah. Now, and when you girls. say Tom, you're talking about Tom Levick, the president. Uh, absolutely, yeah. He was um, about halfway through pre-season, he started poking his head in and having a look, and then he started coming every week, and then you could see his enthusiasm building and a smile on his face, and then whatever we basically asked for, we got, so... Yeah. And it must be a bit of a thrill to see Janet Monaghan hanging around. She's the first woman to have played yeah. cricket in the GCA, 1970s I think it was. You asked her along and she turns up just about every match now, doesn't she? She does, she really does. And um, she's one of the big cheerleaders and she's not, she doesn't leave until the game's over. Yeah, she's incredible. She's extremely modest though. She, she doesn't really want to... Um, how do I say it? She, she doesn't want the accolades and, the, and uh, of being the first woman cricketer and all that. She just wants to be known as someone who's played in the past, who's fully supportive of this now. And I'm sure she would love to have had a go <laughs> at this. You sense that. Now, uh, I guess Julie Holt taking the first wicket is one highlight. Uh, Abby Chapman <laughs> hitting the first six. You got yeah. any other highlights from the... Well, from this, this whole process, which has taken you to preliminary finals. It has. It certainly has. We've had, we've had days where leading players in both teams have, had, have missed out with the bat or the ball, and the second-tier players have stood up. I mean, not only the, the score that the Cambridge um, made last week in the final... I think I said it wrong last night training. I think it's 140... 142 or 143, but only yeah. two wickets down. Yeah, incredible. Like, that, to me, is a, a huge highlight. Of course, Abby hitting a six. Um, Bell playing last round with a hamstring. Um, and we really needed her to stick in there and, and put on a partnership, and she did. Lots of girls, they've all got their stories that... Um, why they got here and, and their previous experience at cricket... And every one of them has uh, contributed in some way in every game. So it's been fantastic. Well, congratulations to you, the inaugural <laughs> coach of the inaugurals, who yeah. are both playing yeah. in preliminary finals this yeah. weekend. You must feel pretty proud. I am extremely proud. I was, Sunday was just a great day. You know, well, I was well Sunday, on. with your first 11 winning in the last over, I think you've got a few more great hairs in those last couple of <laughs> overs. I'm not a great watcher, Warry. I'm a much, I was better at playing than watching. Um, yeah, it got really tough, and I, and I think I was uh, a little bit, maybe a little bit too vocal and a bit too active <laughs> on the bench, but I'll try to calm my nerves this week. Well, I hope they make it through to the finals, because it'll be a, a wonderful achievement for, for you, for them, yeah. and for the New Town and Shield Cricket Club. Absolutely, and, and uh, the more people come down and have a look, the, the more they're going to see people actually playing cricket for the pure enjoyment of it. Just somebody taking a catch is like means the world to them. Well, look into that camera and tell everybody to get along on Sunday. <laughs> oh, please, give yourself a, give it a chance. Um, if you've got 10, 15, half an hour, an hour, and if you're close to Armstrong Creek, go and watch this Cambridge girls. They're up against a very, very good team, but they're going to give it everything they've got. Or come and watch the Navy team at Queen's Park on the top oval um, against Torquay, who we beat last time we played them, but you just never know. We've got a couple of niggling injuries, but... I'd love to have a great result and two teams in a grand final. How would that be? Fantastic. Yeah. Thanks very much, Phil Twaddle. No worries. Thanks, Warwick. Good on you.